We are back with another test of the Shark Bite system from Fat Shark. There were some questions after. Blah, 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 blah. We are back with another test of the Shark Bite system from Fat Shark, and all of the footage that you're going to see in this video is being recorded on the Fat Shark system. So you're looking at it right now. And maybe you're wondering, as some people did after my last video, whether my footage really truly represented the quality of the SharkBite system. You see, I showed you the DVR recorded from the SharkBite module, and some people said, Fat Sharks is not known for the quality of their DVR. So what I'm doing today, is, take a look at it. Here is the SharkBite module on the Attitude V6. Yes, V6, that's not a typo. On the Attitude V6 goggles, and it is recording in its own DVR, but also, I am outputting the HDMI from that module into this HDMI splitter. And that splitter is being fed into this capture device and it is being recorded on my laptop using OBS. Oh, there's one more thing I need to do before I fly. And that is, we need to check the focus of this camera because some people thought maybe the focus of my camera was off. I don't know if it's off, it came that way from the factory, but let's take a look. I don't know, man. I mean, there's just this like glare I mean, that looks focused. It's focused up close. Maybe it needs to be adjusted. To me, it looks like there's this sort of haze and glare. I don't know what that is in the sky. This looks similar to like what we saw with the Cadix Nebula. Something about the way they're processing the sensor creates this kind of haziness under certain lighting conditions. And I think the reason that you're not seeing it on some other people's video is, is it, only, it mostly seems to happen like when you have trees backlit by the sky and those other people just aren't recording in those conditions. But let's double check the focus, because, I mean, you know, we want to make sure, right? Hang on. To me, that looks like the absolute, like I'm looking at this tree right here. To me, that looks like the absolute most focused it could be. Let me loosen it again. So that's clearly worse. Let me see if I just move the focal point slightly. All right, to my eye, that is the sharpest that it's gonna get. That's just, you could see I, I went back and forth. That is the sharpest it's gonna get. I don't think it's gonna get sharper than that. I gave a link to the raw footage for my SharkBite review because YouTube compression really mangles the, the, the quality. And you can, but the problem is that my OneDrive apparently has a bandwidth limit and a bunch of people who tried to download it got an error message saying the bandwidth limit had been exceeded. So what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube in 4K resolution. I'm gonna render it in 4K and upload it in 4K and if you can like try to watch it in 4K, even if you don't have a 4K display, hopefully you will get the best you can and there won't be any bandwidth issues. The first thing I would like to do is just sit here with a static image and go back and forth between the 20 megabit per second 720p DVR, or not DVR, the recording from the HDMI input to, and the actual DVR to examine the question of whether the DVR looks as good as a, a recording of the HDMI output. Now, people will say, oh, but this is not a static, it's a static image. So you gotta get moving. Okay, no problem, we'll do that too. And I am not gonna like ripples because uh, I just wanna get this footage for you. In addition, uh, my receiver is a free sky receiver and I've ripped one of the antennas off. So I can't actually go very far. But let me just go down low to the ground and get some fast-ish, some movement on the ground. That's one of the best ways to test is to be close to something and have it be moving, moving by. Yeah. Um, there is some like haziness in the sky. And there's also, you see that halo around the sun? What the hell is that? I don't know. There's some haziness in the sky. It is not just like uh, backlighting or anything. I mean, I don't know, maybe it is, but I've seen it before on some Cadex cameras. And the good news about it is that other cameras can fix it. The SharkBite system can work with cameras from a bunch of different vendors. So in theory, if there is a problem with the image quality, 
we could just put a, a different camera on it and maybe you get way better. But for now, this is the only camera that is available. Another test I wanna do is to go like up to the tree branches and see how well we can really see the details. One of the most fun things to do with, with DJI when you first get it is to just go and fly through these tree branches with a level of confidence. Yeah, you can do it on analog, but you sort of have this level of confidence that you don't have on analog because you can see so much more of the detail. And you can do that on Fat Shark too, but I'll let you, you judge for yourself. See that haze on the horizon? There, now it's gone. It has something to do with the exposure setting. Like when they turn up the gain or turn up the exposure, the background gets hazy. Like there's a blue, almost fogginess. I don't know. Let's do a little bit of faster motion just to see how the DVR and so forth deals with that kind of thing. Well, that sucks. If you haven't seen the original review of Sharkbite, link in the video description. That'd be fine. You guys, I don't know where I am and I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I don't make it out of this, I just wanna know that you subscribe to my channel or, or maybe join my Patreon or, or click, one of, click one of these videos I picked out for you. <laughs> Ha! <laughs>